it's been a long day, but let's sit down and have a financial chat. Something that will improve our lives, yeah? <laughs> Welcome back to Chat with Tessa, everyone. And today we are having another financial chat. And this financial chat came from a question that I was asked on my financial chats underscore Tessa Instagram page. Someone DM'd me and said, could I lose everything when investing? And I was like, wow, it's a very scary thought. And I think that's one of the things that I was also very scared of when investing that, oh, what if I lose all my money? And then I decided to send them a voice note because I always respond with voice notes, guys. When you DM me, please give me like 48 hours. And then when I respond, I might respond with a voice note. And I didn't want to scare them and say, yes, you could lose everything because that's, that would be irresponsible. I needed to explain how you could lose everything. And one of the ways you could lose everything is A, you're invested in like dodgy, like dodgy guys, like dodgy stuff. Like, you know, ha, pyramid schemes, triple M, things like that. Anyone who's ever invested in dodgy things will know because they've lost their money or they got out just before things got bad, right? So if you invested in dodgy things, definitely gonna lose your money but then also like in legit investments now like legit investments now if you're taking all your money and you're investing in one particular thing just because that thing is performing so fast and one of them is cryptocurrency of which in another video when we come back home again and we sit down and we have another financial chat we'll, ch we'll talk about cryptocurrency it's not a bad thing but some people because of the hype of crypto because of how greatly it's performing people are hoying money hey putting money putting money putting money putting money but then when the drops happen they affect you so much because you you literally see it <gasps> and then possibly you could lose everything right be sitting at a negative or um just not having made that much profit it's possible so let's have a discussion about diversification at the end of the video please let me know if you understand all right let's get into it welcome back to chat with Tessa. it's another financial chat today and like the title said we're going to be talking about diversification such a long word diversification wow <laughs> but anyway it's not that difficult you know um and i want us to normalize financial terms get used to financial terms and like just yeah normalizing them because they're not that difficult so i'm gonna break it down and make sure and that it's explained in such a way that it is not difficult exactly <laughs> so diversification you know when they say don't put your eggs in one basket don't put your eggs in one basket. i think we all understand that don't put your eggs in one basket so you can then this basket and this basket falls and then the all the eggs break ow but so what a sad loss you know so now don't put your eggs in one basket that's what it is in in in, in investing that do not put your investments in one place right we must diversify them but now what does that mean what is diversifying does the diversifying them mean that okay let me shop let me buy shares from this company this company this company this company and this company and ta-da diversified mm -mm. not really so just because when you log on to your portfolio of which maybe you have it with easy equities, right? I have mine with easy equities and maybe other companies that I'll talk about later on. But if you have your portfolio and you log on, you're like, oh yeah, I'm diversified. I've got, I have several companies that I'm invested in. That looks quite right, right? Not really, not really. At the end of the day, you still have a whole lot of shares that are probably in the same type of industry maybe all the shares that you have are from companies that are banks so they're in financials right or all the shares that you have are in let's take for example energy right but then you might say oh wait 
I do have some shares in energy. I do have some shares in financials. I have some shares in uh, consumer, what, what, you know, those different shares from those different companies that do different things. Isn't my portfolio diversified? Yes, it is. It's diversified in a certain way, in the way that you're not only focused in one industry. When we say industry, we're talking about the the field of you know business that's being done so financials already we're thinking banks right uh energy and all of that already we're thinking energy companies such as Cecil and so forth and so forth and so forth um when we're talking about what is it what do they call what what category do supermarkets and that fall under it can't come to me right now, but that category, right? So those are the different industries. You're like, okay, I've got companies in different industries that I've bought shares from. That I'm diversified. But there's another side to diversification. And that side is location, region. Where are you? Where have all your shares been bought from? So these companies that you invested in, where are they from? Is it only South African companies? We love South Africa. South Africa gives us the opportunity to participate in the global economy. We are participating in the global economy, even though you might hear people say, hey, South Africa makes up 1% of the global economy. 1% is a lot. When it's a huge, huge, huge thing, 1% is a lot. So do not undermine South Africa's 1%. So investing in South Africa, that's a great idea. You're not the only one. Even those ones in big countries are investing in South Africa. So that's a good idea. Keep investing in South Africa. But you cannot have all your investments in South Africa. That's not a diversified portfolio. So on the Easy Equities uh, platform that I use, I have the Easy Equities ZAR account. ZAR account meaning that's RAND. That's our currency. The ZAR, Z-A-R. So that means that I can invest in the uh, Johannesburg Stock Exchange and those are South African companies and and so forth right and then I have my um, my TFSA oh I love my TFSA uh, it's not looking so nice right now but it's okay we're gonna we're gonna swim out we're gonna swim out of the deep end it's okay um, and then you have your Easy Equities US dollar account and Australian dollar account. And thank you for, to Easy Equities from, for being able to give us those opportunities to um, invest in the United States, the New York, is it New York stock market and other countries and all of that through the US dollar account as well as the Australian dollar account, which is great. But now you might be thinking to yourself, ha. Huh, but ha, 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 the shares there, they're expensive. And you're looking at your rands and you're saying, uh, one share for Tesla is how much? <laughs> one share for Apple is how much? <laughs> one share at Walmart is how much? And all these other companies, Google, Facebook, you're like, I want to invest in these companies. Let me diversify my portfolio. But ha, ah, Ziatura. I'm saying they're expensive. <laughs> so you're like, mm, I can't really afford this. And also, how do I know which company to invest in? How do I know how much money I should put into this company and this company so that my portfolio is quite balanced as well and well diversified? And then you like, okay, I, I don't know. Even for me, it's tricky. I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an investment expert. Everything I know, I have to read about. So, there's always a solution. <laughs> so, the solution that's there is ETFs, guys. Yo, as, as long as I speak about investing, ne, out of this mouth, ETFs will always be there. ETFs, exchange traded funds. And if you have not watched my video yet about exchange traded funds, come on, link in the description box, okay? Or somewhere up here, something will pop up. Watch it after this video and get to understand exchange traded funds a bit more. And if you're not following financial chats, underscore this are on Instagram already, head over after watching this video because I do speak about investments on that page. And once again, 
I always speak about my favorite exchange traded funds. So exchange traded funds simplified this for us. This dies such a big word. This diversification that we must do. Exchange traded funds do that for our portfolio nice and easy, not so expensively. It really takes out that 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 work of oh but i can't afford that share yo ha ah, so much money oh but i don't really know about this company or that company how am i gonna know about all the companies that are on the um usd account australian dollar account and all these economies and all even let alone the ones in south africa you know but when there's an etf that in its composition it has invested in some of these great companies and this ETF costs X amount and it weighed it out. It, it, it weighed everything out itself already. Why don't I just buy the ETF and simplify my life? You know, so instead of buying those shares from the top 40 companies in South Africa or trying to figure out how do I do this? You could have bought an ETF probably please do not quote me on this, but maybe you can go and do the research on the mat. But probably if you had put in shares in all those companies in South Africa, it would have cost you more money, A, eh? and maybe the performance wouldn't have been as great as you having maybe taken all that money and putting it in an ETF that focuses on the top 40 companies in South Africa, like the Satrix top 40, right? But like I said, we want to diversify in terms of location as well. So there is a range of global ETFs that you can invest in on Easy Equities as well. And here are my favorites. One of my favorites is the MSCI World ETF. This ETF is great, guys. And, and what's lovely is that your girl, Dessa, together with Satrix and Easy Equities, we are going to be talking more about the MSCI World ETF this Friday, the 7th of May. Is it on Friday? Is the 7th of May 2021 a Friday? Well, the 7th of May 2021 at 11. The link is in the description for you to sign up to hear more about uh, the webinar that we're going to be having. If you're watching this video after the webinar has happened, it's okay. I will still leave the description, the, the link in the description box for you to watch the video afterwards and get to know more about the MSCI World uh, ETF by Satrix and also about other global ETFs that you can invest in so that you diversify your portfolio and have those companies that you cannot necessarily directly invest in because it might be a bit expensive or you might not even know which ones or how to balance it out in your investment portfolio. ETFs just simplify that for you. What? Why have a diversified portfolio? Why can't you just have your favorite shares of a company and be like, mm, that's it. I want to invest in this and that's it. The thing is, if you are there investing in cryptocurrency only, okay, or you're investing in cryptocurrency and another industry and it's just those two, just those two, that day it goes to, <laughs> the day it goes to, I'm not even laughing because sure it hurts. When it goes red, ne? Your whole portfolio will be red. The yellow dung, the whole thing. In Guashu, it will be red, Roy, red, you know? But now, if in your portfolio, you also had other investments, like some ET, some global ETFs, South African ETFs, and so forth and so forth, and baskets, if your crypto wasn't doing well, then it's not like the whole portfolio now is going to look red. Mm-mm. The ones that are doing great will balance out your portfolio so that when you log on, you don't get a heart attack. Like, oh, what happened to all my money, right? So that's why you need to have a diversified portfolio. Because when certain industries are not doing well, at least you are invested in other industries, other sectors, and other locations, you know? So that, you know, it balances things out in your portfolio. And to be honest with you, that open up is always happening in my portfolio, but I hardly feel it that much 
because my portfolio is well diversified let's diversify say it with me diversification <laughs> anyway guys so if you liked this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment and most importantly share the video with someone that it will help see me catch me on financial chats underscore Tessa on instagram thank you na cancer goodbye Ooh, and i almost forgot to mention that if you would like to stand a chance to win a 100 rand easy equities voucher courtesy of Moi, to start off your investment and hopefully invest in an ETF to diversify your investment portfolio, head over to my Instagram page, financial chats underscore Tissa. Look for this post and follow the instructions right under the post. So you just need to go into the Easy Equities ETF page of which I'll leave the website right under in the description box and then screenshot one global ETF any global ETF, post it on your Insta stories, tag me, tag Satrix, tag Easy Equities, and boom, I could choose you to win the 100 Rand uh, Easy Equities voucher. And remember the webinar that we'll be having with Easy Equities, remember to attend at 11 a.m. South African Standard Time on the 7th of May. Thank you, family.